scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The degree to which you can solve the problems of men is the degree to which you are a blessing. And if it is true that the Bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed, then we must continue to contend. Why do I have to pray and contend for greater levels of power when I am already seeing a measure? Because you see, there are some things that that level cannot do. The disciples came and asked Jesus and said, why couldn't we do this? And Jesus told them, he said, this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting. The prayer and fasting does something to you that increases your capacity to respond to that situation are we together do you know i look back at my life and i am surprised today at how certain things happen cheaply that were so difficult in time past even though i was anointed even though i had the power of god but i did not understand that the needs of men can only attend to the level of power you've heard me say every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it it is possible to stay around struggling over a situation and to make God look powerless in the face of that situation. And someone will come with a higher level of grace and not even pray any prayer. Just bring that presence and you find that problem just melt just like that. With all humility, I look at some of the situations that God has used me to solve in the life of people today. Did you know that these were the same situations that years ago I would struggle over and wonder what, what is wrong? Is it that I'm not anointed? Is it that I'm not using the name of Jesus? The difference was growth and increase. This is why you can measure a thousand cubits even though you are the river. Just because you are the river does not mean that you have everything. Then he measured a thousand cubits. I sense that there are some of us who are here tonight. It is time for that thousand cubits to be measured for you because you see the level God is taking you to. Can I tell you how God honors you? God honors you by exposing you to people who have greater levels of problems so that with the greater anointing when you are able to solve their problems, then your honor is greater. Is someone learning tonight our world today does not ignore the reality of power at work in a man now it is the desperation for power is so strong that whether it is diabolic power it is whatever power let it just be power that works people will want to benefit from it first before they verify and ask for forgiveness if necessary but in the meantime they don't have that time for any discussion. The moment they see anything that carries a semblance of power to provide results, they will run. So whilst we are giving all kinds of explanations in the church and saying, don't go to Habalist, don't go to all kinds of diabolic people, if we do not rise and contend for superior levels of power in this end time, we will be surprised how people will leave the church wall and immediately after our beautiful speaking, they have heard, but they want to see in some other place. Are we together? One more time, shout power. power. 
it takes power to dislodge the arsenals of darkness that plague our children that plague our lives that plague our destinies all kinds of demonic things i marvel at the skills that satan has employed so far in in bringing troubles to people's lives as i interact with people and as i talk with people sometimes i i get so emotional i cannot imagine how determined satan is to keep people in a way that never brings glory to god say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit this conference is called encounter encounter is more than a discussion it's an experience so when jesus is ready to use a man the way he prepares that man is to submit that man through seasons of dealings dealings that prune you dealings that break you listen carefully when god calls you he does not empower you anointing is not what follows calls when god calls you he does not call you to ministry he calls you to himself and it is a season of uncomfortable dealing and breaking but when you pass through that season with him and he's ready to send you he does not only send you with a message he sends you with the backing of heaven the backing of heaven and when you stand and deliver that message in truth that backing is ready to speak for you to bring healings and to validate number one that jesus is lord number two that you are truly sent the anointing i've taught you that is is a system of legitimization that means if you claim you came from god with a message from god then the people will want to hear and to see and the assignment of that anointing is to prove to men among other reasons that you are not an illegitimate communicator of the counsel of god so when you speak and God backs you, it's his signature upon your life and within that environment, I sent him. Are we together? Because some of you will leave this meeting tonight in a hurry and you will get back home and stand and say, okay, when Saul left his father's house, he could not do much, but now Saul has returned as a prophet. Saul is not just returning as one who is looking for the father's donkey. So the encounter is twofold. Number one, to experience the grace that is so lavishly given. But number two, that you not only experience it, you become a conduit of that grace. And then in addition to all of the other parts of the conference down till Sunday, you will now know that I'm a career of higher grace. And in case you are saying, Apostle, I've, I think I'm anointed. The question is how many supernatural solutions has that level of anointing brought to men? And he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my knees and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins and he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river overflowing and the Bible says everywhere the river went to the fish that was there came back to life by reason of that overflowing anointing i also sense that tonight there are many of you who there will be a restoration of graces and dimensions dimensions in the spirit you once walked in but for some reason that visionary experience you used to have just seems to have faded away that that intuitiveness that level of favor when you came into this city it was like you were a magnet but now it looks like everything is gone find hope the power of god can restore the power of God can restore the power of God can restore my goodness I already sense such a strong anointing here already the power of God can restore another powerful thing about the power of God before we pray is that the power of God can bring acceleration 
This is very, this is a, a, a very powerful feature of the power of God. Acceleration. When it has to do with acceleration, the hand of God can come upon a man and can fast track your life. Listen, if two of us start a journey here, we are supposed to run at the same pace. Whoever goes ahead is the one who arrives first. But when the power of God is introduced to the life of a man, he can pick you from that level. Pick you on a flight. Here's what the Bible says. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew. So this is the business of strength he's talking about. Are we together now? He says they will mount up with wings. He's still talking about strength. The moment he begins to talk about wings, he's talking about speed. Someone tonight as you are encountering this power, listen, it, it, it truly will work like a dream as you will see God just push you to levels that you cannot even explain. You just know you are moving by the Spirit to dimensions that you cannot explain. Can I tell you this? Do not forbear with evil tonight. Do not forbear with anything that does not name the name of Christ. Do not give excuses. You are going to pray and you will insist that everything that is not consistent with the counsel of God as revealed from scripture, tonight is the night you will wave it a final goodbye. Can you rise up on your feet as we pray in one minute? It's going to be very, very fast so that we don't keep us uh, too long here. But then I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Please lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Pray. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your life. Pray over your destiny. Pray over your health. It's a new season by the Spirit of the Living God. Following online here in the auditorium, lift your voice and pray. Man of God, you are praying. It's a new season. hallelujah hallelujah now let me say this by the grace of god i want to assure you by the spirit of the living god that god has granted us by the privilege of his grace the wisdom and the word compliancy to dispense the gifts of the spirit within the boundary of scripture you need not fear regardless the extremities of the manifestations by the grace of god we are dealing here with a system that honors god and is consistent with the ways of god so every prophetic word every manifestation of the spirit and every administration of the power of god that will happen here i want you to trust that it will happen within the boundary of scripture find confidence and let your heart be open to receive i say this because i know that many of us may have had all kinds of experiences with the prophetic experiences with the miraculous and chances are that when the power of god is about to dispense be dispensed on this wise there can be that fear we can close our hearts in a bid to escape error in a bid to not get into anything that is extra biblical i want you to know that we love jesus we fear him and he's cultured us and trained us well we came out of the experience the dealing of the spirit it's not just an anointing that came we were taught and we were sent so find confidence that the administration of the power of god as you will be experiencing here will be within the boundary of scripture aimed at revealing jesus and bringing him glory are we together 
now you pray father let your power touch me let it rest upon my life let it change my life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please listen to me listen to me uh for the sake of space when if for any reason there is a call to bring out those under the anointing may i request that we just maintain the gaps at the edges so that we don't the space here is limited so that we can honor the servants of god just here right now and then we're going to be very very fast on this i'm going to be praying for the sick but right now i just saw light and without shouting without doing anything just bring all the people under the anointing now as the power of god begins to fall on people right now as i'm speaking the power of god and the light of god just from the left to the right i just saw that light right now please bring them the power of god is going to begin to rest on people and this anointing that is coming on people is for restoration this is what i'm seeing in the spirit and there are people here who have been tied down there are people here who the lord is bringing restoration please bring all of them out right now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare may that grace for restoration rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus, right to the back. It's, it's, it's something you can't stand. We're talking about the power of God here. From the left to the right, the extreme of this auditorium, please, whether you are an usher or not, just do well to help anyone under the anointing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. May that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ please bring them out who is grace i'm hearing a name grace who is grace is there anyone with that name i presume that there may be lots of people grace this person i'm talking about you are wearing i'm seeing like white and yellow you are wearing a trouser is there somebody like that You are wearing white and yellow. That's what I'm describing. Who is that? I can't see anybody. Oh, I see. The Lord is saying it's a new season for this lady. I don't know who she is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing a woman five years, five years. You are yet to have the fruit of the womb. You are yet to give birth five years you are on this row god is telling me you are here is there someone like that here just here we have to hurry up for time please if you find her let her come your life is about to change madam run and come to jesus here at house on the rock he's giving you an encounter atmosphere now change be broken please let them come Is there anyone with the name Nike? Nike. I'm hearing a name Nike. It's like a short form of a whole name. Nike. Is there someone with such a name? Madam, you are the one. I'm seeing the Lord is saying, number one, I don't know what it is. I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? The Lord is shifting something in your body. This is what I'm seeing. Please lay your hand on your stomach. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is telling me that he's bringing you a miracle. This is what I'm, is this your husband? Sir, can I pray for you, ma? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I do not know you, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare right now that this thing that does not name the name of Christ, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. How long have you been trusting? 
your own huh? your grace Please bring for me two people that shout loud right now under the anointing. There is such, I just saw light, that fire. This is a very loud shout. I want to pray. Please, I want you to believe. Even if it is 10 minutes, I want you to know that something must rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing this one, two, three, the third row. The third row here, there are some of you, the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this row. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I, I ask them to come out. Are they here? I want you to believe in Jesus. Don't worry. Just take your eyes away from whatever medical report. Believe in Jesus. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. We're going to make this very fast. I just saw that fire come on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, according to the time of life, please just place your hand on your stomach if you can. Why is she here? She was under the anointing there. Look at me, madam. You believe in Jesus? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I declare, this that I see on you, let it loose now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever, never to return again. In the name of Jesus and for all of you who are here I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead according to the time of life return with miracle children house on the rock agree with them return with miracle children return with miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ please quickly return to your seat someone among the people who were ministering here to Hila, I just saw the power of God. That's where the choir is. There's one of you. I know that maybe right now, the Lord is saying to that one person that you are stepping into a new season. A new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. A new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new season. There are four men of God here. You are in ministry. I just saw a strong anointing resting upon you. Four people. I know that we may pray for other people, but I don't know where the four people are. By the Spirit of God, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, this grace for a new season in ministry. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. My friend, there's a gentleman on suit. This man, lift your hands. I just saw light coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Shali Tarus Kadimaka Shobratia Siata. Who works here with FIRSC? That's Federal Inland. I just saw that name, FIRSC. You are wearing white. No, not this man. You are, it's like you are somewhere there. Is there some, please come. Your life is about to change. Please verify. Is there someone to, where do you, God bless you, sir. Where do you work, sir? FIRSC. Yes. How long have you been there? For 10 years now. 10 years. I want to, because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. It's a new season for you. Can I pray for you? Who works with Indians? I'm seeing a man and I'm seeing Indians. Is there someone like that? You work with, in oh dear, there's, you work with Indians. Come. I 
I want to pray for you, sir. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing like a scepter given to you. And the Lord is saying is a new season. This thing will happen within the next six months. The way God will move you, it will surprise you. You believe what I'm saying? And now I, I don't mean to speak against any tribe, but what I'm hearing, you see, when God places, when God is determined to lift you, whether it's a donkey, whether it's a Cyrus, he will use anyone and anything to lift you. This is what is happening to you. I pray for you by the spirit of the living God. Joining faith with the servants of God here, I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord, let it be for you now. In Jesus' name. And for you, my brother, may the Lord help you. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for someone. I don't want you to be embarrassed. I usually would not do this except that God asked me to do it. You are a driver. But I want to pray because you have been seeing yourself starting a business. I want to pray for you. Your life is going to change. This is what you do. It's like you drive. That's what I'm seeing. But you are about to start a business. And the Lord wants me to just pray and speak over your life. If there's someone like that. Uh, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man wearing blue. Complete blue. This is what I'm seeing. Come, don't be embarrassed. This is the house of God. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. My friend, please come. Can I tell you, listen, listen. The house of God is a place of power. God does not just bring successful people. He makes successful people out of the house. Are we together now? Let me use this opportunity to decree already over someone. That in the name of Jesus, whatever level you have seen now, by prophecy, I push you to the next level. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do, sir? You drive your own private vehicle? Your own private vehicle? Yeah. I do Uber. Okay, no. Uber. You two, same thing. And this man? Not my own, sir. But you're driving someone's own. Where are you from? I'm from Adam Master, sir. Mm. I want to pray for you. Look at me. I'm seeing the Lord use agriculture to lift you in a way that will surprise you. This man, I don't know you from anywhere, but God is connecting you. Agriculture is what I see God using to honor and bless you and to lift you. And I stretch my hands, my friend. May the power that makes this happen, let it rest upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sirs, by the spirit of the living God. I'm seeing according to that vision, you starting a business. May the grace that makes things work, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. All of you, in the name of Jesus, within months, you will return with tearsome testimonies. In the marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, I want to pray. I believe in speed. There truly is a grace for speed. Destiny is a function of time. And whatever impedes you has taken a portion of your destiny. Is it alright if I minister that grace upon you? Truly, there is a grace for speed. Speed of accomplishment. I want to pray for you. Now, every time I pray this, here's what I want you to do. Please, I want you to help those who will begin to run by the Spirit so that we don't have any injuries. The power of God will rest on people and literally, they will find themselves running by the Spirit. The hand of God is resting upon them. I don't know, I don't have any personal relationship with this woman who ministered. But madam, I don't know what it is that you have to do with United Kingdom. Because I'm, I, just, I just had a vision and I saw you in, in UK. And I don't know what this is. Maybe a program you are going or something God is doing for you and your husband. Is it alright if I just speak over you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that is in UK that is for you. In the name of Jesus, let it look for you until it enters your hand. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree this and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray that grace for speed. Hmm. 
My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn, and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head, you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I stretch my hands right now everyone here who has suffered any kind of delay there is a strong anointing coming on you right now at the count of three one two my god help them three take that grace take that grace speed all over the building i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost speed in ministry speed in business speed in your life the Lord rest upon you. I release you by the prophetic. Run like Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. Run like Elijah. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural speed over your life. Supernatural speed over your destiny many of you will stand to testify here that at this conference the lord shifted you to, to seasons and realms beyond your imagination hallelujah i want to pray for you the Bible says, wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. And it says that name is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow. I want to rebuke every wind that has been causing the storm to rage for you. There are spirits that are back of the tragedies in the lives of men. There are spirits that are back. Sir, can I pray for you? This man. I don't know who you are, but I just saw light coming on you. And I want to pray for you because the Lord is taking you to a level beyond your imagination. I stretch my hands towards you, sir, and I declare, let this anointing rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and that everything that does not name the name of Christ in your life, let it give way right now. I want to pray for you listen to me Paul was speaking to the church in Thessalonica and he said I desire to come to you again even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us Satan can use manifestations of spirits systems and structures to block people from making progress I want to declare against any spirit that is not of the Christ and the moment I pray please anyone who is manifesting here you just help them so they don't injure themselves are we together now my God hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Every spirit that is not of the Christ tormenting lives and destinies tying down the glory of people i want to pray for you and at the count of three i want you to shout that name that is above every other name exalted above every name every throne every dominion and hear me at that shout if god be god then everything that has held you down 
even if it is Jericho are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus I command every spirit every yoke of darkness release those people now in the name of Jesus release destiny Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives, according to scripture, shall be delivered. I'm still praying. Some of you are standing here for your families, not just for yourself. If there is any one of your family members under any kind of yoke of captivity, because you are here at this conference, I bring life to them now. Victory to them now. Freedom to them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. You work in Access Bank. I just saw that logo. Access Bank. I want to pray for the sick now. But the Lord just gave me this word. Gentlemen, you work in Access Bank. In fact, it's like you came from the bank to this place. You are wearing a, you are wearing it. Uh, okay, come. But I'm seeing in my vision, it's like blue. It's a light blue. But you come. But this, well, okay. you work in Access Bank? Please come. Both of you, all of you. I'm seeing four people. This is what I'm seeing. One, two, three. But I'm seeing a fourth person again. Access Bank, sir. God bless you. Can I pray for you, sirs? Listen, let me tell you this. Every gift and every grace that God gives a man is not for that man. It's for the body of Christ. I can assure you that the days of superstar Christianity is over. We are here as vessels revealing Jesus joining our hands as the body of Christ to exalt Jesus and show the world that he's alive. This is what this is all about. This is not about Joshua Selman. This is not about some man of God. Thank God for the gift. But I can tell you we are only ushers. We direct men to Jesus to help them know that he's alive. Are we together? If you ever find yourself being mightily and marvelously used by God, let me encourage you, do not be ashamed to let the nations know that your assignment is to project Jesus. It is only when he is lifted up that he draws men to himself. Are we blessed? I want to pray for you, sir. How long have you been in Access Bank? Will you believe what I'll tell you? Yes, sir. That your time there is almost coming to an end yes sir but you've seen it yes it's not something i'm just saying yes you've seen it yes and that the lord is going to lift you yes you are in abuja here yes what is taking you to lagos because i'm seeing you go to lagos Hallelujah. in the name of jesus christ my brothers i agree with you standing on the grace of your pastor i decree and declare a strong anointing is coming on you my brother this man i prophesy to and in the name of Jesus, God is going to connect you to a very wealthy man. And that man will be used by God to change your life. May that grace rest on you. So let it be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, sirs, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. May the Lord show you favor. May the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus, you will go and prosper. You will go and experience increase. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the cry of a baby and is a baby boy and the Lord is telling me there is a family you've had a child but you are trusting God for a boy I don't know who that person is and you're in, you in front where are you coming from madam 
is that true I, I i hope you're not embarrassed can i pray for you you believe in miracles yes sir. madam you're a member of this church no sir now where, no matter where you are let do me a favor when the boy comes come and stand here and testify sorry so sorry i hope it's not you my dear you're trusting god for this miracle shout jesus as loud as you can jesus that is it in the name of jesus christ madam i pray for you where is your husband I want to pray for you there is a marvelous financial miracle this be even beyond this prayer that I'm praying that is coming for you and your husband but I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands a strong anointing is coming upon you now and in the name of Jesus this grace this grace is what will make this prophetic word come to pass I release that grace upon you right now in the name of Jesus and for my sister here in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord and for the glory of the King, let this be for you. In Jesus' name. Did I pray for you, sir? I can't even remember why he's out. FIRS, I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. How long have you worked there? Ten years. Huh? Ten years. Ago. Ten years. I'm seeing you have something to do with politics or a politician. What? Huh? What, do you, what else do you do? That's, what I do I'm That's all you do. I want you, do not fight it. When that drive for politics comes, it's in your destiny. God has shown you this thing already. Even before you started working, I release that grace upon you now. May the grace that makes this happen. Listen, let me tell you this. The church, God has given the church and he has given vessels in the church certain graces called a kingmaker anointing. A kingmaker never sits on that throne himself, but he can enthrone and dethrone. The church is actively part of government. Are we together? Yes. Just close to the people sitting at the front here, I'm seeing the power of God come on one person. Um, just this, like this, right there, this row. I don't know why, but it's just a miracle. I'm going to pray for the sick right now, but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. May that strong anointing rest upon you supernaturally. Let it shift you to a new season by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I just take out five minutes to pray for the sick? My sincere apologies. I know that there are people who have come here trusting God for healing. Do you believe in healing miracles? Please lay your hands. Here's what I want you to do for me. I've been given a bit of time, but I will not abuse that, that privilege. So we'll still walk within the boundary of the time given. But here's what I want you to do. I'm going to pray a simple prayer in the name of Jesus. Remember my illustration about light and darkness? Because that light is about to come up right now. Are we together? And I'm going to pray for you in mass. The power of God is coming on one person with hepatitis now the power of god i'm going to pray for everyone but that one person you will be healed right now right at the back that's what i'm saying is there someone like that right at the back you are healed now of hepatitis right there in the name of jesus now i'm going to pray for you and as soon as i pray for you i want you to please check yourself we're not pretending this is no show this is the power of god i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened let's have any even if it's just one or two testimonies of the marvelous hand of god and then i just speak over your life and we're done is that fine please lay your hands very quickly i want to pray for you i believe in miracles i truly believe in miracles blood conditions negative medical reports you are here working miracles i worship you i worship you you are here
of Jesus is moving across this place now now two things will happen and the healing power of Jesus will begin to touch people two people are going to start running out by the anointing please hold them wherever they are honestly I don't know why God does these things sometimes but they are just signs and wonders when that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move two people literally the power of God will come upon them that's one there now I can pray how God does these things and why he does it sometimes there are signs and wonders there is one more person right now the power of God literally the person will start running please just hold the person so he doesn't injure himself and then I begin to... <laughs> it's very funny how these things work sometimes now I'm ready to pray hallelujah please lay your hands In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a believing amen. amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I rebuke every spirit that is back of every infirmity, every disease. I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be gone now in the name of Jesus. And every sickness every infirmity in the name of jesus the christ of god be healed now blood conditions be healed now my god my god my god such a wave of glory the anointing is just sweeping across the length and the breadth of this place healing is coming i'm seeing the lord heal lumps lumps like lumps breast lumps be healed right now be healed right now help them please be healed my god be healed right now there's someone having severe pain around the lower back area severe pain in fact i'm literally feeling that pain on my own back i decree and declare right now be healed in jesus name madam the woman laying her hands on her head i just saw oil keep that hand on your head I saw oil coming on you and the Lord is saying this infirmity goes now. I stretch my hands. Be healed now. Be healed now. The power of God is touching you right where you are. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Headache, migraine headache goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Anyone having any malignant growth or any kind of growth whatsoever we command that growth to dissolve from your body now cancer be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone God is healing you you don't have to come out but what we know as impotency the Lord is healing someone of that condition right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have breathing problems you really cannot breathe like breathe normally the power of God is touching you a miracle is happening to you right now right now right now a miracle is happening please help her help her help her just hold her she's coming out by the anointing so she doesn't fall be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ peptic ulcer be healed in the name of Jesus now the Lord is showing me I'm seeing someone there is it looks like a boil but it comes out in a particular part of your body you keep treating it and treating it and it keeps coming again the power of God is touching you right where you are in the name of Jesus Christ someone you came here with severe pain I'm seeing pain around your shoulder here you are at the back the power of God has touched you in the name of Jesus every other situation be healed right now be healed right now in fact there's someone you are having um, I don't know what this is called it's it's not yes your throat like tonsillitis severe pain you almost cannot swallow as soon as I'm done praying you check yourself that devil leaves your throat right now someone your left eye 
your left eye seems you don't see very clearly with your left eye the power of god is coming upon you now and i declare that that blood vision is is perfected now 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 in the name of jesus christ every blind eye be open whether partial or total blindness be healed now hear me if there is anyone here who cannot walk well whether you're on a crutch or you're on a wheelchair stand up now in the name of jesus any pain around your limbs in the name of jesus if you're on crutches i release the power of god be healed right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who has struggled with pile please hold on this is a very severe case of pile very severe case of pile the power of god is coming on you you will know you are healed because the pain leaves you now the pain leaves you now in the name of jesus christ um i don't know what medical condition is it that prohibits eating starch but i'm seeing someone your a doctor was warning you to not eat starch because of a medical condition you have the power of god i don't know who that person is but the power of god is touching you right now now for sake of time whether or not i mention your case from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now my sister that lady waving her hands i'm seeing the power of god come on your stomach there is something that is going out right now i decree and declare i stretch my hands towards you let that devil leave you now in the name of jesus christ now very quickly some of you even whilst you were under the anointing something happened to you i want you to check yourself we have just two minutes i don't want to abuse the time we need to shame the devil here at house on the rock the refuge are we together wherever you are check yourself the moment you find out that you could do something you couldn't do please be very bold i like you to use either this place or that place celebrate them people are coming out if i can have just one or two of the pastors or just just someone so we take one or two testimonies check your vision check everything is this how you celebrate miracles my god is this how you celebrate miracles keep coming check yourself check yourself check yourself don't sit back and hold on those of you watching and following online miracles are also happening in your homes your offices whatever you are i want you to, you can call in you can send through whatever platform the emails that may be displayed let the house on the rock here the refuge know that jesus is touching you right where you are in the name of jesus yes sir just a few hold on oh, ju ju just a moment okay hello apostle the pile the, one of the reasons one of the, the the reasons why i'm in this service i'm not a member of the church but one of the reasons was because of this pile matter i even came with the drugs i've been taking where it. is the drug see, oh i see I'm taking it it's inside it's inside my back what happened to you now it's gone maybe you said the pain then it's gone sir. we have another miracle here yes, sir. Please. very quickly my god just, just, we're not going to stay here for too long. Go Please ahead. Just be patient. Yes, go ahead. Coming to church, I had a sore throat. I don't know. I was not breathing well, but then my throat. Oh, the lady that was running out. Check it now. Yes. Any pain. It's gone. Yes, Completely gone. It never returns to you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Um, I'm a medical doctor and my job entails that I stand a lot in theaters, doing ward rounds. So I've been feeling this pain on my right toe and the feet. I keep telling myself that I'm going to see an orthopedic surgeon, but I never had the time to see one. Today, the pain becomes, became so intense during the ward round that I had, to take, I had to sit down and stop work. But of course, I had to stand up and continue work. So, yes. During the prayer, I was standing and there was a lot of pain, but I kept standing. So what happens? And I just want to bless the name of the Lord. And right Check yourself. now, the pain is no longer Check. there. Any pain? Completely gone. 
You check yourself. Gone. It never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Is that yes, please? Hold on. Yours um, blood vision. Blood so vision. A uh, blood vision. Like I can't How see this. What's your name, my dear? Happiness. Happiness. Yes, sir. How long? Um, going to eight nine years now. What couldn't you read when you came? Um, the screen. Oh, I can't really see your face clearly. I was using glasses. You were using glasses? Yes. Where are the glasses? I can't find it when I fell down. I don't know whether somebody... And right now you can see. Yes, oh, sir. come on. Yes. We have another miracle here, Apostle. Yes. I want to thank God because I was having blood vision. You were having blood now. vision? Yes, and immediately the man of God prayed the blood vision seed. Secondly, I want to thank God because he manifested his power in my life in a different dimension today. Lord. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I've been having shoulder pain for several months now. And when the man of God prayed me, shoulder pain just left. Check yourself. Any pain, completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power Praise of the Holy the Spirit. Praise the Lord. My name is Philip. I actually came here with a severe neck, knee problem, pain. I was supposed to see, go to Cedar Crest tomorrow. That's my appointment tomorrow. But while the prayer was going on, something hit me seriously. Oh my God. Check yourself. Any pain. Healing, sir. Supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I work in a hospital too, so I do a lot of standing. Are you seeing what God is doing to the medical people? So I, I've been having this pain from my neck, shoulder, and to this part of my body, but right now I can't feel it. Before now, I can't even bend down. And I've been doing physiotherapy for like three weeks now, but I don't feel any pain Completely anymore. Completely bend down. Check yourself. Any pain. Any pain. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Sir. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Um, I was having this shoulder pain and ankle, so we are about to travel soon to check for trials like football so you're a footballer yes sir so last week friday i went to training then i got uncle then my shoulder but now after the prayers i'm feeling normal check yourself Hallelujah. may the lord prosper you in the name of jesus christ we have maybe one or two yes, more and then we're done yes please praise the lord while i was there i felt a very sharp pain in my tummy and the moment i fell under the anointing that was all that was the end what happened to you the pain what? ceased the pain ceased oh you had a pain before yeah. now no it was while i was there it there was, was while a... you were there yes it but just the left. moment i fell under the anointing it disappeared in the name of jesus christ you are healed now you are healed forever Let's have the last one. I know there are many more. What will happen is you can you can testify uh, uh, during the other sessions. Yes. I've had ringing in my ears for over three years now, and then I can't hear anything anymore. And then the ringing has stopped. There's no ringing in my ear anymore. You believe what has? Yes. I had pain in my knee coming to church this evening, and. I Completely anymore. gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, let's just honor that sister and praise and, the Lord. Yes, when you mentioned waist pain that you can even feel the pain, I was there. I've had this pain since last week. If I sit down to stand up, will be an issue, I will fall back to the chair. But when you mentioned the issue, I've been checking myself because the pain is no longer there. Completely. Please stand on your feet. I'm no longer. Slave to me. I speak over your life you are in this place and haven't heard about Jesus and what he can do haven't seen what he has done you are here and you are saying apostle I know that I need Jesus I need to make it right with Jesus or you are here and you are saying apostle I remember giving everything to Jesus but for some reason 
my life has gone haywire and I need restoration. I'm going to count one to five for sake of time. You have just a minute. I'd like you to leave your seat. Please, um, before we receive the final prophetic word, wherever you are, please leave your seat boldly. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. I'd like you to come and stand here very quickly. I'll count one to five. Please run like there's fire on the mountain. Come and stand before Jesus here. One. Run to Jesus. Two. Don't allow anybody to leave you behind. Run. Come to Jesus. He's giving you a new beginning. You don't have to kneel. Please stand for space. Please stand for space. Three. Someone is coming to Jesus here at this conference. He's giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. If you're still running, come. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Praise the, praise the name of the Lord. I salute every one of you. Thank you for the courage to come. Jesus said, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I request that you lift your right hand very high above your head please say this after me say it with faith believing that jesus is here say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word that you are all powerful i believe in your power to save i believe in your power to give me a new beginning i confess jesus as my savior my lord and my king i declare that I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Please keep those hands. Father, we thank you for these ones. You have brought them to yourself. May the grace that keeps, may that grace keep them. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Now you would notice that you were given a card. Please look up. You were given a card by the officials. Here's what I want you to do. Um, as they direct you, You'll be told what to do. Okay, I thought you'd feel it here. So please, all of you to my left, which is your right, I'd like you to go. Let's celebrate them as they go. You'll meet with a few counselors and you'll be back to your seat. Hallelujah. Can I speak finally over your life? Please stand. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Let me encourage you to be actively involved in the remaining sessions. There's tomorrow morning. There's tomorrow evening, there's um, Saturday morning, and then the celebration service. Do well to stretch through. Remember, this is a week for you of spiritual emphasis. And do well to enjoy the worship, the word. Connect with your heart opened, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. I decree and declare over your life in the name that is above all names. The level of grace and anointing that you require for the next season. May that grace rest on you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every closed door over your life and your destiny, I speak over that door and I decree and declare, let it be open now. I decree and declare that in this season, you encounter the ministry of destiny helpers. Men and women raised by God to hold your hand and lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare that for everything that has left you that should not have left you, wherever it is, I call it by prophecy back to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak over everyone under the sound of my voice. You will finish this year well. Hear me? Everyone here present in this place, by this time next year, you will still be alive rejoicing here. The only difference is that you will be at least 10 times better than you are now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for everyone who is part of the House on the Rock family, especially the refuge here. 
all who have contributed to making this conference so far a success in the name of jesus the bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages i lend my voice with your pastor the angel over this house and i declare be blessed in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you keep loving jesus love him with all your heart and keep going from glory to glory in jesus name i pray thank you pastor uche Well, is that the best that you can do? Clap those things together. Let's lift up a shout to our King and to our Lord. He deserves all praise, all glory, and all honor in Jesus' name. Can I just say something to you? Can we just stop? Can we stop the movement, please? Can you just listen to this one word, please? The Bible says to follow after those who through faith and patience inherited the promises. There's faith. There's also patience. In another five minutes, the service will be closing. So I just want to encourage you, be patient. There's still power moving around in the service. You still can be healed. Am I speaking to someone? Someone is saying, but they didn't call my case. It's not over because the Spirit of God is still moving. Am I speaking to someone? So let's just be, be patient. God is still about to do something. But please, I want to ask you, on behalf of the entire leadership and membership of House on the Rock for Refuge, help me appreciate the grace of God upon this wonderful man of God, Apostle Joshua Solomon. Thank you so very much, sir. We appreciate the grace of God upon your life. House on the Rock loves you. This is home for you anytime, any day, anywhere. You're welcome home and thank you for allowing God to use you to be a blessing to us. We pray that the same grace, the same virtue that has been released through you may the lord even multiply much more upon your life in the mighty name of jesus church if you believe that one more time let me hear you clap those sins together and give god the best praise and glory and honor in jesus name Bless the dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline